Hello and welcome. Today we're working on how to take a picture and import the data into Excel. So this is pretty exciting. Now this is a newer feature in Excel 365 and what we can do is we can take a picture and import the data into Excel. That means we don't have to type it again. We have fewer errors and so it's pretty exciting. Saves a lot of time. Now what I did was I took a picture on my iPhone and I did convert it to a JPEG but I tested it, just the native iPhone format is fine. A PNG would work, a, a JPEG would work, or whatever. Now the Office app for iOS or for Android can do this. So there is a Microsoft Office app. There used to be a separate Word and Excel and PowerPoint, but they merged into one device, one app rather. And so it is Word and Excel and PowerPoint in one app. And they even actually show you, say, they say, hey, you can convert data into images, uh, pictures, into documents, or into tables in Excel. So here's what my picture looked like, and I'll show you on the data import. So let's get started. Now for the data import, I'm going to go to the Insert ribbon. I'm going to Data from Picture, take that, and to Picture from a File. And I call this, the, I call it S&P 500 Returns Picture. It's a JPEG. So what we'll see is it's going to go from zero up to 100. At about 20%, I think it'll jump to 100%. Yes. So one thing we want to do is review. Let's review anything. We just have one item to review, and it looks like 2006. It wants to make sure that's 2006, that it read it correctly. So let's insert the data here. And so what we have, let's look at our data set. We might have to edit just a little bit. It says S&P 500 annual returns and the year has all the years as a number, which is important. And then the return, you see it put the R and the N together, so uh, as an M. So return, I'm going to type that in. And the one thing we need to think about is this is a whole number. We want it as a percentage because I want to do a little math with it and do a little calculation. So let me show you a little trick we can do. Let's put 100. If I took all these in um, this column and divided by 100, I'd have 0.184 and 0.3149. So let me show you how to do it. I'm going to put 100, just type it in, and do copy, and then entire this entire column, I'm going to highlight that entire column, and then right click and just do paste special and, whoops, um, pay special and pay special. All right, so I'm going to divide. Now watch what happens. The first two numbers are 0.81 and 0.31 is what it should be after the division. And you'll see we have all the returns now are in decimal form as, as a decimal. And what will happen there is we're going to get rid of the 100. I'm going to highlight all this and make it percentages. So I'm going to use this percentages as a uh, percent return. Give me two decimal places. And that's how we're used to looking at annual returns. So one little way to change those numbers. Now that number still has 0.18.4. It's just a percent now. And so it's uh, as a decimal form. Let me show you what it would be in decimal form. It's 0.18. Okay, now let's do uh, a little math with it because it's nice to have these returns, but let's think about what it would be if we actually had these returns. We invested maybe $1,000 at the beginning of 1971. Now the problem is we have the numbers are, the most recent numbers are first. We probably want to switch the order. So let's highlight this entire two columns and let's go to the data ribbon, the data ribbon and filter. If we go to the top here, what we'll see is it's by year and by return. So let's take the year and let's sort ascending. So it'll put the very first year, which is 1971. This is a 50 year data set. And it's gonna put that first and then that return is from 1971. So let's go to the bottom. And 2020, the 18.4 is at the bottom. All right, so let's Let's uh, calculate and do a one little graph and calculate what the return might be. So let's say we had, let's just start with $1,000 and let's make it with a dollar sign. 
let's say we started with a thousand dollars and so this is our investment and so what we'll do is we'll start with a thousand dollars times and we're going to let it grow at 14 percent which is going to be 143 dollars we want to add that to the 1000 so the math is going to be one plus the 14 percent and that will take the 1000 plus the 14 percent so that's going to be 1143 and 10 cents now we need to do the second row 1143 times start the parentheses one plus the 18 almost 19 percent so after the first two years you've invested it grew to 1100 and then 1300 now we can just copy this all the way down we can double click if you look at the bottom right hand corner we can double click send it all the way down and it copies you know 40 more 48 more rows so what we have is if you invested one thousand dollars you've got approximately 175,000. So this $1,000, this $1 grew 174 times. So this is pretty powerful. One of the things you need to know is if you're young, that is your biggest superpower in terms of investing. Compound interest is your friend. Now let's think about this a couple of different ways. Let's think about what is your uh, rate of return, okay? so. Let's, let's talk about your annual return. So this is a time value of money calculation called rate. So let's look up the rate. I'm going to use the formula builder. I'm clicking on the FX to get a function. And I'm going to look for rate. The rate here, the number of periods, I know it's 50 and I can um, use a calculation, but I know it's exactly 50 and my payment is zero, didn't make a payment. My present value, I need to make it negative because it's a cash outflow. So I'm gonna put in, I put in a negative 1,000 and it grew all the way to 174,000. Now on the last, um, we don't have to do anything with this. We can put the type, there's no payment, so it doesn't really matter, and hit okay. Well, our annual return is something like 10.88%. So if you could get, if you invested $1,000 at the beginning of 1971, you had all those years to, to, for it to grow, and it grew for 50 years, you'd have 175,000. Now, you, what you'd wanna uh, think about is, man, I wish I invested earlier, and I wish I invested uh, more. So that's your, when you're young, you wanna make sure that you're thinking about investing getting started when you're young. So let's do a quick little graph just to see how this works. So if I highlight everything, I'm gonna highlight everything, and then I'm gonna to go to the insert ribbon, and I'm gonna insert a, a line graph. Okay, now what I, what I need is, let's edit this just a little bit. I want, uh, I don't need all three things here. So I'm gonna select my data and I don't really need the year to be graphed, and I don't need the return to be graphed. I just need the investment. But what I'm going to take my horizontal category, the axis labels, I want 1971 all the way to 2020. I think that's going to be, look good for us. Well, let's see here. Yeah, so what we have is, uh, these are the years, so what we need to do is we need to make it wider so we can see the numbers, maybe like that. And so you can see your investment started out really, really small, and it kept growing, and it dipped, and then it grew all the way to $175,000. Now, this is why you invest, because over the long run you want your your money to grow there's going to be good times and bad times and um, this is going to be what happens over a long period of time hopefully your money grows and it grows at a, a nice percentage and so this is one way to get you kind of started thinking about investing so that's how you do a picture from a piece of paper into excel and then you can do math on it. it's pretty fantastic all right thanks for watching we'll see you on the next video